I guess there's this slight chance that I just whistle without any input on my behalf. And I, <laughs> that's gonna like peak the audio a lot, I can guarantee it. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. <sighs> Ooh, what's this way? Oh. That just... That just looks like intergalactic high security prison right there. Boy, another cutscene. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale in Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torin. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I've fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Well, that was a fun trip. Uh, this way. Oh no, find help. Now. Oh god, they let me sprint. Yeah. Pull that out. Run this way. Oh. <laughs> Don't like that, so I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> I see you. I guess we're going this way. Oh, great. Look, I'm back in a circle again. How I... What am I supposed to do here? into the vents. The, oh, okay, the very slow movement vents. I guess we do that. I'm not an abandoned. It's not like I'm in an abandoned spaceship with alien with an alien on here that probably wants me dead at all times. Nah, nah, nah. That's completely fine. where it might be hiding. <laughs> Things are genuinely startling me. And I know for a fact it's because I know this is a horror game and I don't know what to expect. God damn. Just someone you always know. That's, that's the phrase I can make out. Hmm. Button. No, 
there we go. Realistic climbing. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hid it I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so if you're going to need to get some, it's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of your own take care of our stuff in future. Anna. Okay. Goodbye from Siegson. Public notice. The commissioning of Sevastopol Station. We've had a long journey today, but sadly it's coming to an end. Siegson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank out all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol, Sevastopol, Sevastopol guy, over the years, and hopes that Siegson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be sure that Siegson's Apollo Central AI and working Joe androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, the basketball isn't just a station, it's people. Season court. Trademark. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminals down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up. <laughs> Restore power to the... Oh, I turned on the lights. Huh. I don't like how it lets me lean when I'm saving. So that means I'm probably gonna have to save in places where an alien can get me. I'm just gonna duck under that electrical wire. Great. Baggage lane. Ooh, gift shop. You know your baggage claim, you suck. Gift shop, gift shop, gift shop. I am so going to steal. That's not good. Hey! I'm still. Oh no. Damn it. Pull over! Yeah, you know, uh, it's like gift shop. I still need to jack something from the trip. Well, I made my way all around, so. Ouch, because B does whatever this is. Just turn button generator. Yeah. No, I don't even need to crouch to get through there. Oh, oh that's why I took Well, I was supposed to take that way. Bonding agent. Yeah, play that. Maria Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circling. 
circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waif and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us, either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this is so you don't pick, or so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this has two things attached to it. <clears throat> to all space flight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The, col the colonial marshals and in are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly from the Office of Marshal Waits. What is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all of the Seeks and Working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station, so wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands. Seeks and tomorrow, together, dead. Can I get a cappuccino? Ah, dang it. Who would have guessed in the broken down space station the coffee machine wouldn't work? Ah, like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I... Where am I supposed to get an ion torch? Ah. Aha. I just couldn't get to there from... The stairs. Where am I supposed to get an ion torch? We've got a save station. That's very nice. We've got an ion torch. Ooh. Didn't even, I didn't even know there was a vent here. Okay, let's take that. I don't like it already. Guessing I'm in baggage claim. No. Oh, there you go. There you go, little dude. Scrap. What does B even do? I guess I'll find out later. Bend it down. Wee. Person? In here? Plasma torch? First I'm supposed to find an ion torch, now I'm supposed to find a plasma torch? That's gotta be the exit up ahead. Maintenance jack. Restore power. Okay, at least I half know how to do that. That was baggage claim, all right. Can I... Restore power, obviously. And a one, and a two, and a button. Boop. Plasma torch required, of course it'd be. Can't even see in here. Do 
do I just go back from whence I came like the foul beast I am? Because... Yeah, you know what, uh, I'm gonna go up through this door, you know? Excuse me. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you know. You know you kinda know. Maybe you don't know. Maybe there's some things you do know and that you don't know. This I clearly don't know. <laughs> up through here, I guess. Is there any way you could, like, hurry through these vents or something? Whoop. Give me that. You don't need it. Agent and a note apparently. Interview subject. A recording. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. <laughs> I just wanna hide under the table in case something happens to come in. Welcome, bin Vuyano. Week. Welcome in. And bin Vuyano do. Words I can't decipher. Probably screwed up all of those pronunciations. Following me back there? Hard to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. Well, uh, Axel, I can see this being a very beneficial relationship between you and I. Stick close to you. you got a gun, and I have the ability to... Oh, oh okay, okay. Go oh, okay. <laughs> Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. You're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying Ringo. to get to cops. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them... Yes, we do. Look, I've got the elevator work. Yes, we do. Okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. No wait, please come with us. We need extra people in case I need to run. No wait, please. <sighs> Fine, Mr. Gunman. See if I ever open a door for you in the future. When you don't have a maintenance check. Yo, you mind if I stop and save right quick? <laughs> Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. Special touch that you and only your bullets have, I see. <coughs> well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. No, did you... Fine, you open it, I press the button. If it ever comes to you die, I'm taking your gun. Sucks when you walk faster than the NPC, but you have to slow down and wait for them. Shit, we need to move. This way. Get down. This is bullshit, Barrett. You should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. 
At least we're safe down here. For how long? Oh, what you bumped me. Us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. What's going on? <laughs> can I? Can I do a? Trouble. You'll have to go random. Listen, man. Can you unlock this so I can engage in Gordon Freeman's favorite pastime? Friends of yours? I've a gun. I presume. They don't like strangers. <coughs> nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I'm from your team. Absolutely a point. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for sure. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear. It makes people crazy. I've noticed. Ah, we're out. Living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. I don't know when you'll get another chance. Well, I think now that we've followed Axel into his little hidey hole, that's going to be the end of this episode of Alien Isolation, it can get pretty dark and hopefully I won't suffer from a heart attack in the near future. Peace out.